The work in class right now is very hands-on. We're getting to touch a lot of things, getting to break a lot of things and then fix them. It's actually a lot of fun, the, the problem-solving aspect of it. I wanted to pursue a profession that would allow me to build, on, build upon that and um, challenge me every day. I am a problem solver and there's a lot of problems to be solved and not one of them is exactly the same. The best part of my job is watching the creative solutions that my students come up with when I assign projects. I'm Sharon Burlingame and I'm an associate professor at Pellissippi State teaching computer systems technology courses. The CSIT degree program at Pellissippi State is broken up into three major areas. Database and programming, and that's a concentration of itself. Then we have networking and communications concentration. Both of those are two-year degree that results in an associate applied science degree. We also have the transfer path to four-year schools Typically students stay at Pellissippi State for two years and they follow the new transfer pathways where certain classes that they take here are accepted by all four-year public institutions in the state. When I first went to school, uh, computers were really big mainframes behind a, a door and I guess I was just intrigued with the idea of having a machine that could operate like a brain and so that after the first class I took I was basically hooked. I think in today's world, computers are in basically every device that we, we have. They're in our cars, they're in our phones. A camera is really just a computer with a, a lens. So knowing about computers is basically a literacy thing to, in today's world. I like teaching here at Pellissippi State because we have the latest in technology and we have a great market for our students once they graduate. My name is Jerry Sherrod. I'm a professor in computer science technology at Pellissippi State. We have a tremendous reputation in the local industry. Our students are in high demand. A computer science technology with a networking concentration person runs the networks and the systems for, for almost any large company. My name is Jenny Taylor. My name is Ethan Sandifer. My name is Jay Foster and my major is Computer Science Information Technology with a concentration in network. Uh, well, for as long as I can remember, I've always enjoyed taking apart computers and I was looking for a profession that would allow me to build upon that and also uh, challenge me every day. We're doing hands-on, practical things. Um, in one of my classes we're learning about network security, how to um, what steps you should take in securing your devices. The most interesting part of my major is that it is constantly changing. It's something that you have to be on your toes all the time. Currently in class, we are getting to break things, fix things, hands-on in each class. Uh, different programs, different pieces of equipment, and different operating systems but we don't leave them broken. So far, it's just really fun. The work that I'm doing in class is, is just a, is a, whole, lot of, a whole lot of fun. Uh, the, the programs that we're, we're writing, um, it, they're not too challenging, and, um, but they, they're definitely um, uh, teaching me something each, each time, and, and each time I'm actually at, able to add what I learned before to, to the, the, the next program. So it's, it's not been stressful actually at, at all. Like I was, I was actually worried that I wouldn't uh, do that well, but the programs and everything we've been doing is, is a whole lot of fun. The best part of my job is seeing somebody actually get programming. You know, I think it, it, it isn't somebody, something that everybody can do, but I do think that we give people a good opportunity to learn that here. And I, I really enjoy seeing somebody when they really, I really feel like they get it or, and are able to create things with the computer then. Come to class, all the classes. You can always learn something from, if it's not from your instructor, it's from the other students in the class. The biggest thing you have to have, you have to be able to solve problems. You've got to be able to solve problems on your own because we don't uh, solve problems for you. We teach you how to solve them for your business. I would take advantage of any opportunity that's open to you. Um, for me, uh, last summer I got to intern um, at RNL. And it wasn't paid or anything, but I got a 
a lot of hands-on experience and got to know some business contacts that once I graduate, hopefully I can take advantage of. To just do the bare minimum that's assigned in a class and then hope that that piece of paper is really meaningful at the end, I think that's, uh, that's naive. I mean, what really, it's a skill-based thing. Computing and programming is a skill. And you don't really get good playing basketball by watching somebody play basketball. You can get good at any skill-based thing by actually doing it over and over and over. So practice and get good at it and hone your skill.